Hello, my friends. We are doing a North American premiere today here on the Watch On booth at IMTS. Bob, I'm so happy to have you with me, and I'm happy you have your iPad with you as well because I'm in for a treat to learn a little bit more. This is a North American premiere. I personally got to see this in Korea. Thank you for that, by the way. But let's make this even more known here in the U.S. because horizontal machining is significant, Semicon is significant, and there's some attributes to this machine that is nowhere else out there, including potentially some of the software that goes along with it. But I'm gonna let you use your notes and I'm gonna try my best to keep up with you today. No problem, no problem. Well, thank you very much. Yes, the AF4 is a debut for North America and South America. Uh, we're watching on Machinery America. And uh, we are here at our IMTS booth and we're showing the AF4, our newest technology in Horizontal Machining Center. Uh, this is a 400 millimeter horizontal, a uh, very compact design going after certain segments of the market. Over here on our little chart, uh, we give three different uh, areas, um, main features, high productivity, enhancement for user convenience, and then like you said, software. So this machine really attacks all three of those areas. Uh, talking about performance, let's start with the spindle itself. It's a Wachion spindle. It's 15,000 RPM spindle. This is an oil jet spindle. What that means is we're actually cooling the outer portion of the motor and also injecting cooled, tempered, cooled oil right to the bearing itself. And we use a suction pump and we're pulling that heat back out, filtering it, going through the refrigeration process and back into the machine. So this is a designed and built spindle by Watchion. It's one of our best performance spindle. We use these spindles in our mold and die industry. So you're getting the best of the best when it comes to the spindle technology on this particular machine. The other areas are the construction of the machine as well. So it's a very rigid casting. Even though it's a small compact 400 millimeter, it still has that rigidity for power machining. Referring back to that spindle, that spindle's 50 horsepower, so you can remove some metal with this machine. So it's a 15,000 high, high torque spindle, but we also can put you know higher RPM spindles on, on it as well if you're doing micro machining or you know aluminum removal we have that built into the machine. Bob, I'm gonna take a moment to address each of these three areas and go into a little more depth for the audience. And we'll only do it quickly because you and I can talk for hours on end, I believe, because sure. I love learning from you. Let's talk about 400 millimeter and why you've advocated for that a couple of times now when we're talking about floor space. It's about floor space, but being able to have an area of doing pretty large capacity work on the inside, but having the ability to have a compact space on the outside, right? Yeah, more and more we're seeing that pallet size go down. Right? There's machines out there that are 300 millimeter pallet, 250 millimeter pallet. So, I mean, yeah, space is very important. But if we look at the, um, the main spec out there in the market, 400 millimeter and 500 millimeter are still the most popular yeah. horizontal machining center. So we had a choice. Do we start with 400 or 500? But I listened to my customers and my customers said, we want a 400 millimeter as a start. The 500 millimeter will come later. I like that you said that, by the way, because you do listen to your customers. Watch on as a family is great at that. Now I want to bring up the spindle again, because I think that's important. A lot of what you've described, and certainly what I'm looking at right here, uh, with the way that small diameter is going, and we're looking at shower head machining. Simicon is all over this piece here. I sometimes think of a longer cycle time. The way you describe this spindle to me, I also go, okay, well, thermal expansion might have been an issue, but probably not here, right? No. Yeah. The um, the other characteristics of that spindle, it's got to be high high acceleration and deacceleration, especially for this micro machine. This is 3,000 holes in this shower head. So, I mean, you, cycle time is so important that uh, we put that into the technology. So it's a high dynamic spindle as well. Not only high precision and high performance with high horsepower, 
but a high dynamics pedal. Well, we've talked about the dynamic, we've talked about the high RPM, the ability for thermal expansion to be non-existent at this point, but you've talked about the base, the rigidity, building it up, and you mentioned the horsepower that's built into the spindle as well, so we're not sacrificing horsepower for that speed in that thermal expansion, which comes into cylinder chambers here, where it looks like there's some big holes and some roughing that goes into sure, it. Sure. So it really is built with that strength where I'm not sacrificing speed for power, and I'm not sacrificing power for speed. I'm getting a little bit of everything in a compact area that allows me to do the horizontal machining that I need to do in many industries across the board. Right, exactly. With that goes automation as well on a horizontal. Very easy to automate. So we build this machine with a hydraulic uh, pallet system. So for, you can put your hydraulic fixtures on there or even pneumatic. So you can go either way and it's through the pallet. So you don't have this overhead, you know, cable system coming through and connecting to the separate pallets. So you have it right through the pallet. So that's user convenience again. Um, and then automating it, you can throw a robot on the front of this or palletize it. And watch him makes their own pallet system as well. It's a HMP system and uh, you can hit multiple machines hooked up to the same system and transferring your work pieces and your pallets inside out. Something I'd like to bring up to the audience about what you just said to me, Bob, is, and I think this is significant to understand is we're all talking about automation. I mean, automation is how we keep up globally. We've been, it's a buzzword, it's a hashtag, it's automation all over the show right now, all over your booth. However, what we need to focus on is a quality machine like WatchOn that allows repeatability to have the same part come off time after time after time. If that gives us the walk away time we're looking for. If I own a machine shop and I have five or six machines and I have one quality person to run those five or six machines and they're not gonna show up till the part is done running, I can't have it be a mistake. So if I'm automating solutions, if I'm running 24 seven and I show up on a Monday and 30%, 40% of my parts right. are bad, I have to have a reliable machine like WatchOn, right? Absolutely. You know, it go. It starts, I always say it starts with the foundation. You have to build the proper structure of the machine. And then you got to use the proper subcomponents, but also you need the proper control system as well. You know, we specialize uh, using the Fanuc control. Uh, right here, you can see we have a, a zero eye control. It's a simple um, four axis machine. So you don't need full five axis like the 31 IB5. But we also can put our harmony control on this machine. And that'll give you a lot of capability for programming, quick programming on the shop floor and monitoring, scheduling work pieces and so forth. But we also have some other enhanced software built into the machine. And one of them is that thermal displacement compensation. That is standard on this machine. We take care of the spindle through that TDC system. Um, we're, we're monitoring the whole heat from the front of the spindle to the back of the spindle, and then doing feed forward cooling as well. So we're reading way ahead in the program and we see, oh, that RPM is gonna go up. Let's start cooling the spindle now. So you don't have those spikes um, of thermal expansion in the spindle. It's a flat line. So that's where the high accuracy comes in. But not only that, I'm monitoring the frame as well. I'm watching where the heat transfer is in the frame. You know, on a horizontal machining center, as you start moving your headstock up, you start getting yaw and tip in the column. So we have something for that as well, some software. It's uh, the HRGC, you know, it's the for the geometrical tolerancing. So we uh, watch that as well. And then we have tuning of the machine. We call HECC and we're actually tuning the drives on the fly. So through the program, we can set different parameters for higher ACK and deck. Maybe you just want to rough the workpiece, or now we're looking for a smooth surface. We can change that through changing the dynamics of the machine as well. Sounds like perfect harmony to me, Bob. Oh yeah. Have we left anything out today? I mean, I feel like you've covered everything. No, there's, there's a lot more that we would have to do like a two hour video. So, so. give you a call. <laughs> yes. Give you a call. They can get a first hand view of this machine to learn more about the details because there really is a lot to the system. Absolutely. And that goes from this machine throughout the booth, all of our machines.
All right, my friends. Well, this is Horizontal Machining with Watch On 400 millimeter spindle, second to none, giving you the precision, automated, automation built ready, stable foundation from the floor up, software that's in perfect harmony. Give these guys a call. Give my friend Bob a call. Take a look, and we'll see you in the next one.